YouTubers and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's review I'm taking a look at Big Chief Studios alternate smiling portrait for their fourth Doctor 1-6 scale figure. So this is an alternative head sculpt featuring the fourth Doctor with his trademark manic grin, something that fans have been wanting since this figure was originally released, so here we finally have it. So let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. The figure comes packaged in a small white box featuring a sticker with the Doctor Who logo and explaining that this is the 1 6th scale collector expansion pack, the 4th Doctor alternate smiling portrait. When you open the box, the head is encased in foam which is also wrapped round with polythene. So with the 4th Doctor figure and our new head sculpt, let's go about trying to get this new head onto the body. Now for this I'm going to use Jack Sumner's tried and tested method which he posted on the Big Chief Studios fan page on Facebook. Uh, there was a lot of issues with people trying to swap the heads over and hopefully this should be the way to do it. So let's get the fourth doctor. At the moment I've got the hat and hair sculpt on so I'm going to pull that off. So if we pull the head off the body, so as you can see here, it's not just the head that's come off, but the whole neck piece as well. Obviously we're going to need that, and we're going to need that back in the body. So I'm just going to put Tom's body down to one side for the time being. So what we need to do is pull this apart, like so. But here you can see that there is the ball socket still attached to the fourth doctor's head. Now again, this is a part that we actually need so we can do the head swapped because the new head doesn't have the additional ball joint. So in order to do this, it's no good trying to pull it out with your fingers or trying to use pliers or anything like that because if you do do that, you're going to damage the figure or you're going to run the risk of damaging the figure. So the best thing to do is the old boil and pop method. Okay, so the kettle boiled. Let's just pour a bit of that in there. Not going to need an awful lot, just enough to submerge the head, just enough to soften the plastic. So you only want it in there for 10 seconds or so. This is going to be very difficult for me to get out of the water because it's going to be boiling hot. So if I scream and shout, then I apologise. So take the head out. It's been in there for longer than 10 seconds, but at least we'll know the, the ball socket should come out whoo, straight away. And you should just be able to pull it out. The plastic on the head here is now very soft. Um, it's just really a case of trying to get the f your fingers into the to the socket. It doesn't seem to want to work so I'm just going to use a pair of little tweezers and try and hoist it out without damaging the figure. Hey! When in doubt use your teeth. Don't use your teeth. Um, it's not, not advised. So now that we've got that out I'm assuming that the bigger joint was inside the head. I assume so. So let's once again stick this back into the neck piece. It shouldn't be too difficult now that it's out. If it doesn't go in, just use the boiling water. There we go. So that's now in the neck. And then here is the new smiley head. And right, let's give this a go. Finally got the neck back into the head. Uh, it's taken about I don't know, 20, 25 minutes to do that. Uh, couldn't force the peg straight into the head. There's just not enough there for you to get a grip on. Um, so try to sand down the peg a bit. Also try to sand down the socket of the head itself. So now that the head's back on, Let's put it back into the body. Hopefully this will work a lot easier because I have done this before. There we go, right, so that actually worked perfectly. So now that's back on, head's in place, we've got the hair, hair goes back on. And there we have it, that is the new smiling headed fourth doctor. It's just taken a bloody long time to get the head on. I'm never changing the head again. So with the head finally on the figure, let's take a look at the details. The paintwork here is absolutely phenomenal. 
it is worlds apart from the paint applications on the original head. Now, there was a lot of issues with the original head. People were concerned about the five o'clock shadow that the figure had, which you don't really see on Tom Baker in the series. There is nothing like that here. The sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It looks very much like Tom Baker with his manic grin. You can see all the lines around the eyes. The skin is slightly sort of blemished on the top and the teeth are also very well done. The paint applications are also very impressive. The eyes are full of life. The teeth have been very well painted. Unfortunately on mine there is like a tiny little bit of a snag on the front tooth but um, it's very very tiny and it may even be something that you could probably just touch up very simply but you can see all the rosiness in the cheeks and just all of the skin tones are absolutely incredible another thing to note here is that the sideburns on the figure are slightly different from the other one in as much as the paint app seems slightly darker in places compared to the original personally I think it looks better and also for the hair piece although it is the same sculpt the paint applications are different now one cool feature about this head, of course, is that the hair is removable, as I showed you earlier. You can take the hatted hair and place that over the top. I've not tried this myself yet. And then that clips on just like so. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from behind a camera, which makes it very difficult. And it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely superb. And you can also see that if you take the original head sculpt and the new darker hair, they just plug in as normal. So you can have the newly painted hair on the older sculpt. So despite the fact that it was very tricky to get the head on, once you actually have it in place, it does look excellent. I really am pleased that I got this. The head itself costs about £35, which isn't bad at all. And you're looking at about £6 postage if you're in the UK. But I really do recommend getting this head as it does give new life to a figure that is about a year and a half old. And it does allow you to pose in with things like the Jelly Babies in a, a much friendlier fashion rather than with the stoic, solemn face. As much as I loved that original head sculpt, I do think that this new head sculpt looks more like Tom and it just gives the figure a bit more life and a bit more energy. What I would like to see from Big Chief would be a re-release or a new release of the original head sculpt so using this new sort of paint technique which is far superior you know get rid of the five o'clock shadow and all that kind of thing I mean if they wanted to keep the head sculpt from the original unique that's fair enough and perhaps do another expression maybe not quite so blank face maybe a bit more of a frown or more pondering who knows, but I would definitely love to see a new neutral face sculpt for this figure using the new paint applications. That would be very cool to see indeed. So, thank you for watching this review guys, and I shall see you again next time for another Doctor Who action figure review.